I'm going to step off uh, the stage for a moment, and Bailiff David Reese is going to come onto the stage. Please welcome. <laughs> extremely wealthy as I am, is that uh, I can tell other people how to live their lives. Uh, because I know better than them. Because I'm wealthy, and I must therefore be virtuous. That's how it is in America. Um, and so uh, people uh, will c contact me with disputes they're having with their friends or loved ones or enemies. And I uh, tell them who is right and who is wrong. And I believe we have some disputants on the ship as well. Is that right, uh, Bailiff David? Could I have, um, you should feel free to use a, a microphone. I mean, you're, you're... Oh, I will. Okay, very well. <laughs> is, uh, is Rob and Tanya Hofford in the house? Did they manage to come in? Please stand. All right. And you're going to try to videotape this as you're doing it? <laughs> videotape. I'm old. Come on. <laughs> yeah, just courtroom sketches, please. Thank you very much. Will you please come up onto the stage? Please swear them in. Raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and also the total truth? <laughs> Thank you. Very good. You may be seated. <laughs> Primary, who is bringing the complaint, the complainant of the two of you? That would be me, Your Honor. Okay. Uh, what What is the problem exactly? What is the nature of your complaint? The problem is seasonal Christmas music versus Christmas music, and when it is appropriate to play it. I see. And what is your what the, the, what is your position? My position is that seasonal Christmas music, which does not include actual Christmas-related music, should, can be played anywhere from the week of Thanksgiving. Uh -huh to December 31st. Christmas music should be reserved between December 1st and December 25th inclusive. I see. And Tanya, you are the defendant. Yes. You obviously disagree. I do. What is your position on the matter? Living in Pennsylvania, I think that one thing, it's all the same. Right. And it should be played from the first snow. Wait, can I just stop you right there, yes. please? What is living in Pennsylvania? <laughs> <laughs> 
queen of Pennsylvania, for one thing, it's all the same. <laughs> I meant with the first snow. Do you have a different calendar? Yes. The Pennsylvanian calendar, right? Exactly. It's just there are no. It's like it's the same as every other calendar. Every other month in the calendar is the same as everybody everybody else, but. In Pennsylvania, December is just one long day. <laughs> okay, so because there is snow. Because in the first snow, I think, so, Christmas music should start. I see. As long as it snows sooner than November 15th. Okay. <laughs> I mean, Christmas music should begin when snow hits the ground right. in Pennsylvania. And just like, yeah, okay, I got it, sure. Yeah, and you want the whole world to follow this. <laughs> You want, you want a meteorologist out there waiting for the first flake to drop so that the world can say, you can start singing. You can say to the world, start singing, world. No, is that what I understand? Yeah. And you think that until that snow melts? No. Okay. Only until December 31st. And you're talking about Christmas music and Correct. what Rob referred to mysteriously as seasonal music. I'm going to ask you some questions now, Rob. What is seasonal music? <laughs> seasonal music would be like um, uh, over the river and through the woods. Um, okay, definitely not a Christmas carol, I agree. Right. Um, That's a, 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 a grandma cow carol. <laughs> Walking in a winter wonderland. Winter wonderland, that is neutral, absolutely. Um, People of all faiths can enjoy it. Uh, it's a weird song, though. It is. <laughs> I suppose certain, uh, yeah, Frosty the Snowman, that's not specific to Christmas. Frosty the Snowman, Jingle Bells, Jingle, Let It Snow, okay, any snow-related, right, right, okay. Any snow-related uh, uh, song, or ditty, in which the name of the holiday is not specifically mentioned, right? Or the, the holiday is not specifically mentioned in the song, correct. That's kind of what I said. <laughs> And you're saying Thanksgiving to December 31st, and then that's it. Correct. All right. And and why is he wrong? I just like to be in the holiday spirit longer. You, I like to I like to have the music playing when I start shopping. Right. And you, I start shopping middle of November. You know why I don't like Winter Wonderland? Conspiratorial. <laughs> Later on, they'll conspire. <laughs> As they sit by the fire. And then what's the rest of it? To face unafraid the plans that he made walking in the winter wonderland. What plans are they making? <laughs> what weird plans are they conspiring with? Are they, are they walking by the old Bailey and Sons uh, building alone? Planning a cricket? I think I'm conspire. It's a dumb song. No one can sing that anymore. <laughs> You know what? While I'm at it, Frosty the Snowman, no more. <laughs> Is there anyone who would sincerely defend Frosty the Snowman? I mean, what? yeah, I know. You just want to come up on stage. <laughs> Frosty the Snowman, it's one thing that we have Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. This is a dumb novelty song. But that was a big hit, and they made a thing out of it. Frosty the Snowman, they made the song in order to replicate the success of Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's, that's like, that, you know what that does? That brings commercials into Christmas. <laughs> and I, for one, hope that that never happens. And if I, and if I say no Frosty, then I, maybe I'll stem the tide. Hi, guys. Hi. Are you still here? Yeah. Right. Um, I, I have a feeling, that, so you feel uh, that you want to listen to Christmas music all the way to December 31st? The reason being, I want to be able to do my holiday shopping, and then I want to extend it a little while longer. Right, because the the pre the pre-Christmas season is a horrible, torturous chore. Right. And you don't actually get to have fun. Right. And it kind of starts for you. I'm making your case for you, right? Yes. Okay. Exactly. It kind of starts for you on Christmas, and you want to you want to live the dream a little until bit longer the new year. until the new year. Okay. And why is that so wrong? Because it's wrong. <laughs> How long have you been married? Almost five years. Almost five years, and you have this fight every year? No, we have the standing, uh, we have sort of a truce. Right. That... But it's very tense, isn't it? It is very tense. Do you have children? Not yet. Do you rent children to come in and cry while you talk about this? 
Well, speaking soft voices when we disagree like that. So what's so wrong with your wife uh, wanting to enjoy a, a little Christmas cheer after the actual day? Aside from it's just wrong. It's after the day. Right. It's, it's calendrically incorrect. Right. It, it's clean cut. Christmas is over. But I wouldn't listen to Over the River and Through the Woods on New Year's Eve. That would be sick. <laughs> That's an anticipatory song, right? The songs leading up to New Year's Eve should be kind of like, this is the end. <laughs> We're anticipating the new year. Over the River and Through the Woods is very much a, the season is just beginning, right? I would agree. So we're gonna leave that, that stops December 1st, right? That's right, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> and I haven't even made my judgment yet. But you know what, I think I'm prepared to make my judgment. I'm gonna go into chambers, think this over, and I'll come right back. <laughs> I've given this a lot of thought. <laughs> and while I certainly appreciate your situation uh, of wanting to enjoy Christmas a little bit, because your Christmas time is completely terrible <laughs> up until December 25th, um, the fact is, uh, that you are feeling the wrong emotions. <laughs> if you are. <laughs> Christmas is the celebration, and New Year's is the sad acceptance of time passing. <laughs> and once Christmas hits, you have to start moving into the sad acceptance period. <laughs> Keeping it up with Christmas carols is itself even sadder than anything else. You're living in denial. And therefore, I have to rule in favor of your husband. The critic. Well, that's fine. You may applaud if you think that's The Christmas music must stop on December 25th. Uh, at midnight going into December 26th. It must then be taken outside and burned. <laughs> and the only song, at the same time, you cannot be playing Over the River and Through the Woods or Winter Wonderland, because they're just splitting hairs at that point. The only song that is appropriate for the anticipation of New Year's, of course, is Old Lang Syne. And in this case, I sentence you uh, to increase your sadness to Old Lang Syne, played over and over again. <laughs> Uh, as sung by Tom Waits. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, it gets better. While Tom Waits is being stabbed. <laughs> this is the sound of a gavel, Judge John Hoffman rules, that is all. <laughs> we have time for one more case. Uh, is Francis Fernandez?